Hey y'all, welcome to Medio Part 2. It's been a while. Um, last time we talked about Kleinfelter Syndrome. Link down below because I'm going to be honest, I forgot all about it. Um, and today we are talking about Barnes Syndrome. Now you might be wondering, what the heck is Barnes Syndrome? Well, you came to the right place. To be honest, I had no idea what it was until I saw this girl on my For You page. So, before you go... Was there something I could have said to make your heart beat better? If only I'd have known you had a storm to weather so... Wait, it was one of those... Imagine, um, imagine if you had to tell someone that this was your ex. And some people were like, uh... Um, so I was like, man, that's not very cash money of y'all. So I decided to make a video about Barnes Syndrome to kind of bring awareness and um uh, yeah let's get right into it so right off the bat the most interesting part or most interesting detail that i found about barn syndrome was that it is autosomal dominant which means if you have barn syndrome your kid is gonna have at least a 50 percent chance of also having barn syndrome so i'm not a doctor not gonna make any I'm not gonna make any uh, orders but I highly suggest that you don't try to have biological kids if you have Barnes syndrome adoption uh, symptoms that I found from this site I'll have the sources later is bell-shaped thorax a thorax is your chest okay so this is a picture of a bell-shaped thorax chest and um uh, or not picture, radiograph, if we're gonna get technical. And here is a picture of a normal um, thorax. Thorax sounds so much cooler, I'm a smart kid now. Um, and you can see the difference. There's a lot less space, and that really restricts the lungs, which gets into one of my other symptoms. Um, smaller lungs and restrict the chest wall because of the shape. Other symptoms include laryngeal stenosis, which is the narrowing of the airway. Um, in the larynx, I think, I don't know. Um, and iliac and pelvis dysplasia. Don't know if I said that right at all. Um, here's a picture of the pelvis. And there you can see the ilium, which is what the term iliac refers to. And dysplasia is abnormal cells. So that means in that area there are abnormal cells, but they are not cancer cells. So what do we do when we have Barnes syndrome? Or not what do we do? <laughs> Shoot, I mean, I haven't even graduated yet. Um, what do doctors do? From this one thing I read, what you want to do right away is ideally you want to intubate them at and an operating room and if you can't then you have to go through surgeries to kind of get that intubation um some some uh surgeries that i read about was a tracheostomy which means well ostomy means surgery to create an opening and trachea is the airway to your lungs so when you breathe the air goes into the trachea into the lungs and then blood system comes back with nothing carbon dioxide and you um and another one was laryngotracheal laryngotracheoplasty which is uh basically what laryngotracheoplasty is it's um it's a surgery, obviously. They they take cartilage from other parts of your body. Uh, could be the rib cage, ear, the thyroid. What's a thyroid? So apparently, the thyroid is like a gland that's under your Adam's apple, and it sits on front of their windpipe. Did not know that. Did not want to know that because it is two a.m. and I need to sleep soon. Uh, and they use it to open up because, you know, if you have Barnes syndrome, your windpipe, which is the trachea, I believe, is narrowed. So they cut it open and they use the cartilage 
as spacers to enlarge the airway. That's pretty cool. I could be doing this in the future. <laughs> now I'm nervous. Um, I'm gonna show y'all a video from the person that I told you I found from my For You page. And she describes how her life is going with Barnes Syndrome. And we'll be back. And all those things I didn't say, wrecking balls inside my brain. I will scream them loud tonight. Can you hear my voice this time? This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm alright song. Okay, the last note that I wanted to add here is that mortality is high. According to this and th this goes beyond what I say like way more complex like I didn't even read all of that one site because there were a lot of terms that I don't know maybe didn't teach me this stuff thank you for watching um, drop some suggestions for what you want me to talk about next and also drop some suggestions for what you want me to improve on because you know, this one was a lot more tangential than the other one. Uh, there's not a lot of information on the web about Barnes Syndrome, or as some people call it, thoracic dysplasia. Uh, and uh, if you're a doctor seeing this, uh, tell me what I can improve on because, you know, I want to I wanna learn more, you know. I'm only doing this to teach and learn. Thank you all for watching. You got a fast car And I wanna take it to anywhere